at YouTube, what goes on? And welcome to Disability Action Figures, bringing you toy in episode number 238. Today we're at the Charles Crane Community Center in Palmer, Pennsylvania for the Lehigh Valley Toys, Comics, and Card Show 2023, as put on by our favorite local toy store vr hobbies huge shout out and thank you to them for having us here today so pumped to be at this show they've maxed out the, the space that they have they have scrammed so many tables in here it's the most vendors they've ever had looking for new stuff old stuff retro vintage marvel light i mean you name it you know what we collect on this channel so who knows what we're going to find inside uh, i do want to add just as a disclaimer uh, i know not everybody likes when there's music in these videos uh, however when it comes to these shows i have a lot of fun co uh, private conversations with people and they don't always want their voice on camera so uh, again if you get some music over the top it's not gonna be the entire video but it might be for part of it so if you want to skip past it i understand that's fine but before we get to that if you're new please consider Hitting that subscribe button is free for you. It doesn't cost you anything. Helps get the channel tremendously. Go ahead and hit the bell notification. The way YouTube actually notifies you and tells you when we post new content on the channel. Like our weekly toy hunts, reviews, and live streams. Leave a comment down below. Hit the like button. And for daily toy content and daily toy updates, try checking us out on Instagram and Twitter. Disavowed underscore 12. Let's see what they have inside. All right, so at Retail Realms, there's their online information. You want to check them out and give them some support online. All sorts of cool stuff at their table. We have mascots, crazy crab. Star Trek going on. Of course, we got the Joes. So we got three and three quarter Joes going on. So we have the reaction series for the Super Seven. These just look so great. We got the mini Marvel Legends, which I guess are on hiatus for a little while. We got Andre the Giant going on. Back to the Future. Again, just a great mishmash of stuff. Star Wars uh, uh, retro. The little guys, three three quarter. Of course, we have Indiana Jones down here as well. They Live card looks really, really freaking cool. Uh, it, Iron Maiden, the Monsters are in the house. There's a Lily and Herman themselves. We got the Simpsons here. Got super lucky and found this. I believe it was that one at FYE for like five bucks or two bucks or something crazy recently. Uh, but again, lots of cool three and quarter things. We got the Treehouse of Horror, Kang. Oh my God, I didn't know they made that from the Simpsons uh, Halloween episode. That is incredible. Shout out to Six Packs and Knickknacks on that. Uh, down this would be Golden Girls. Thank you for being a friend. One of my coworkers loves the Golden Girls. I mean, who doesn't love the Golden Girls, right? Uh, just a, a whole sorts of cool stuff. I have to dig through and look through here a little bit. Uh, we have the Thanos. I remember that from the Disney toy, the Disney toy box from the Disney store. Uh, more Star Wars stuff. Old school Game of Thrones action going on. The Rick and Morty. I didn't even know they made this. That's awesome. The Trails of Horror. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's new. Oh, that makes sense. Then. Okay. Got Sergeant Slaughter at 35. But again, all sorts of great, just overall uh, three and three quarters sections. Uh, even some pops, pop, pops down here as well. And they even have Mr. Poopy Butthole. So you can't go wrong with some Rick and Morty action. But again, check out their website. Uh, that again was Retail Realms. There's the information right there. Uh, let's keep walking around. Check us out. Next booth over, bbrtoys.net. Check them out online. Uh, again, all your Hasbro stuff, your Hasbro collector, tons of it here. Uh, lots of Transformers action going on down this way. Uh, set up very well as well. Uh, down in the Star Wars, your three and three quarter action going on. Got some Fennec Shan down here. Death Watch. Ahsoka's obviously, Ahsoka's obviously there. I always say that wrong. Uh, Boba Fett, of course. Uh, we got the Mando helmet going on. Marvel Legends, G.I. Joe Classified. But again, check out their website. There it is right there if it focuses. Uh, and check out all the great stuff they do have. Uh, a lot here at the show, but I'm sure a lot more online too, right? Probably. A little bit more online, yeah. <laughs> And you're talking to a guy here wearing an awesome Cobra shirt, so you can, you can trust him for sure. <laughs> no worries. But again, great GIs are classified, stacked up here. This is another great table at the show today. We were just talking about, uh, this is really cool, uh, 3D printed Pokemons, dollar donation, and it literally goes to Nazareth Memorial Library. So that's awesome, helping out the community. The toy community helping out the book community. I like it. So our first Galactus of the day that we've seen. Uh, I don't know if there'll be more or not, but I always like to show a Galactus. Yes, if you watch my channel regularly, you know I haven't opened mine yet because I am just now in a weird state of mind where I can't get myself to open it because I'm a weird person. <laughs> NECA Turtles down this way on the side of this one. Uh, some old PlayStation games going on. That's I've seen old stuff like that. Is that Sergeant Slaughter right there? I don't know who that is. Is it Sarge? I really can't tell who that is, to be honest. I'm in the comments. I probably should know. I'll be dumb. feel dumb about it later. Uh, underneath some pops, pops, pops. Uh, but just fun, cool stuff. It's just an eclectic show with all sorts of things here to look out. Some Batmobile. Who, who wouldn't want Batmobile next to Chris frickin' Jericho, right? Absolutely love it. All right, so I'll be honest. I don't know much about the uh, Beetleborgs, uh, but this haunted Hillhurst house playset just grabbed my attention as I was walking by. 
Uh, I just love, you know, box art from some of these older toys. Uh, we also have some Mythic Legions in the house. You got to have Four Horsemen Studios represented, right? Uh, so awesome seeing that. I think that's, that's actually the moose. I think that's the moose right there. I actually have a moose as well. Uh, up top, just again, retro goodness. We got a mummy. We got Leonardo sitting right in front of us. Um, just fun, retro, cool stuff to see. And like I said, this show always has a really wonderful mix of re retro nostalgia, you know, older stuff, newer things as well. Uh, Ghost Rider, I haven't seen a Ghost Rider in packaging in a, sh in a show in a long time. It's one of the last purchases I actually made at Toys R Us. Before RIP, they went under. We got an autographed Hacksaw Jim Duggan going on. So just fun stuff, Nintendo, Game Boy games, The Bard's Tale, a little bit of action with uh, William Shakespeare, I would suppose. There's Home Alone 2. But just, again, just so much stuff here between cards, comics, collectibles, gaming. Something for everybody here for sure. But this show is just amazing every year. And they just ratcheted it up to 10 with how much great stuff they have this year. It's more awesome, older retro stuff going on here. Got Sequest. You don't see Sequest too often. I think it's the uh, Toy Anxiety YouTube channel. I believe that they had a, had a, a big collection of Sequest going on for a while that they talked about on their show. Uh, so shout out to them. They'll probably never see this video, but they're fun to listen to and they're good people. Uh, down this way, Aliens, we've got 007 going on, old April O'Neil. But this is some of the fun random stuff you're going to come across that you just don't see at uh, everywhere on a regular basis. You're not going to see these at Target or Walmart, folks. you got to go to a show. One of the best parts about these shows are seeing Lucy's, whether it's bagged or, you know, in crates or whatever. Love digging through those. So just, again, Isagi Ajimbo in here hanging out. Uh, but I wanted to show you this up here. We have the Mythic Legions uh, Stone Troll and all its glory. I, I just can't get that deep in as much as I like my Legion stuff, but always appreciate seeing Mythic Legions when they are out here on the shelves at these conventions. And right behind me, we have some really hard to find Marvel Legends things. Again, I just don't see these at shows very often. Um, we have the uh, Daredevil Punisher, uh, John Berenthal. Uh, shout out to my buddy, Pat found that under a shelf in a target and basically gave it to me so thank you sir although i'm sure that's hurting your your feelings seeing that right now but no but seriously buddy thank you that's a great piece of my collection that i i really do cherish that you picked up for me and it was under a shelf so, which is great uh up top we have some venom action going on uh, actually our other buddy uh six packs of knickknacks i bought that venom uh at books a million the morning of his wedding <laughs> during the pandemic uh, there's a books a million. I had to get changed into my tuxedo or my suit, whatever we were wearing that day. Uh, and I picked that up while it was a books a million. So I always said I'll never get rid of that Venom because it's always going to remind me of uh, Mr. and Mrs. Six Packs and Knick Knacks, amazing friends of the channel. Uh, down below, lots of great selections here of G.I. Joe. I was seeing two of my favorite army builders, Alley Viper and that original Bat. Uh, again, some older stuff. We've got a his tank going on right there. I'm sure those bigger his tanks are coming in soon for, for classified, which I passed on. Um, no, no, no uh, FOMO yet. But when they start, people start reviewing it. I bet you I'm going to start to hate myself for not picking it up. Uh, but down this way, some more Marvel Legends going on. We got some cool Predator stuff. Raider Nation is represented in the house. Uh, we got the big old Apocalypse right here, which I consider picking up on occasion uh, and just having to be able to pull the trigger. Um, again, just great loose Marvel Legends action going on. Uh, it's got to take your time and look around at these shows because you're gonna find so much cool stuff and if you don't take your time you're gonna probably miss some things and as mentioned this also is a comic convention as well so lots of great uh, long boxes short boxes of comics to look through and dig through uh this is a good one right here dark avengers i think the secret warriors had something in the back which i'm a big fan of in that one but again older stuff newer stuff you just got to look around and dig through these long boxes because you're just not sure what you're going to find uh, when you're at these shows. So again, just got to keep checking because you, you don't know. Here are some things you do not see every day. This is one hell of a Pee Wee Herman collection going on. We have Pee Wee's pal Vance the Talking Pig. We got the freaking toilet plushie. Uh, again, like I, I, childhood nostalgia. We have Pee Wee with the uh, scooter and the helmet. We have an entire Pee Wee Playhouse play set. I, I, I honestly didn't know it existed, but it's incredible that it does. Down here, we have more of the cherry. Like this this stuff is just gold. I I would never have probably seen these if I had come to the show here today. Uh, more Pee Wee's Playhouse down this way. Pee Wee himself is back there. Just so much fun stuff that you just you don't see. I, I've never seen these Pee Wee things in all the shows I've gone to. So <laughs> that's the best I can do, sorry. <laughs> Let's keep moving along. At the same booth, they actually have cops and crooks. I know a lot of people want cops to be brought back uh, in figure form, but some of the older stuff is just incredible to see these things. All right, so this booth seems to be Flip It Collectibles, and uh, there he is, <laughs> the friggin' boogeyman. He's coming to get you. <laughs> it's a buddy of mine's birthday coming up, actually. 
um, who's a big Boogeyman fan. But 100 is a little bit steep for that price, uh, for that, uh, unfortunately. He's not big, not big of a collector figure, so. Uh, but some old carded Hasbro stuff through here. Uh, again, I tend to have a lot of these still in my collection. Just, of course, they're loose like these are down here. Uh, R.I.P. One of these guys recently passed away. I can't remember which Bushwhacker it was. It was uh, Luke or Butch, but sorry to hear about that. Got an Ultimate Warrior for a hundo right there. Uh, Autograph Typhoon. Actually, I just realized these are all autograph cards. Greg the Hammer Valentine, the friggin' Repo Man. Um, insane pool six though. For 30, I almost would consider getting this, but I know it's going to stay in packaging for obvious reasons. But got to love the AEW influence on the wrestling world. Uh, there's Andre, 50 on him, um, Finn Balor, uh, down this way we have some more elite flashback figures, Yokozuna's here, and then of course we have all the AEW newer stuff, uh, we got a Jericho going on, soft good scarf, uh, of course we have MJF, he's better than you and you know it, uh, and we even have a Daniel Bryan, or Bryan Danison, whatever you want to call him. And just kind of give you an idea of a scale and size, this is just a giant gym, it's just full of all these tables. And then out where it says Court D, all the hallways have tables and cosplayers. And it's just, there's so much here to see. Uh, I'll try to share as much as I can uh, of the show, obviously, but it's a fantastic all right, show. So right here in front of me, we have some of the newer TMNT stuff going on. So we have Usagi Ajimbo, the black and white at 40. Uh, we have Man Ray. Of course, we have Nick Fury. I mean, I'm sorry, Dirk Savage and Mona Lisa here. Uh, we have our Dreadman. So a lot of the newer NECA stuff that was out, I guess, as part of uh, Holothon. Elvira for 45 down below. Invisible Man's a new one just hitting shelves. Down below, that's really awesome to see. We have the old Marvel Legends 12-inch Deadpool at 40. That's something I might consider. Uh, both of those were at Burlington Coat Factory for a while. I actually ended up getting Wolverine there for a real cheap price. Never saw Deadpool, though, but... Man, fun seeing them here. So we're at the Toy Reaper booth. Always a great time chatting up a Toy Reaper. Good dude. Always has great stuff here at his table. Uh, so shout out to him. Thanks for uh, having a great conversation with me as always. So always very well stocked with new Marvel Legends. Uh, also shout out to uh, Pete Fisher, who I just ran into. Great talking to Pete in person. Talking toys. He's always in the chat over at, uh, whether it's here, or over at Archie's live streams and other people's streams as well. So shout out to Pete. Good talking to you, sir. Uh, but yeah, running into a lot of cool people here today, uh, which is a really big part of these shows. I love seeing product. I love seeing new things uh, or old things as well. Um, but the best part is running into people, talking to people, and just enjoying the hobby uh, that we all enjoy so much. So shout out to everybody who I'm talking to here while I'm walking around today. Other than that, we got uh, Ivan Drago in the back there. Uh, the Apocalypse of 45. Man, I've nearly pulled the trickle multiple times on him. Uh, there's Archangel of 75. This oh, I bought this at Zolocon. The first Zolocon I ever went to, I picked that up. Um, there is our multiple man back there. I love the protectors on these. I'll have to ask the Toy Reaper where he picks these up at. Um, we got our Toad. I almost said Frog for some reason. Uh, of course, we have Scorpion here. Uh, we got a freaking Game Boy. I love seeing Game Boy. <laughs> Again, a lot of uh, just different things here. Uh, there's cards, comics, toys, videos, that sort of thing. Uh, down below, we got some retro Spider-Man going on. The newer stuff, some of the older stuff as well. We got a Gambit at 35. That was from Target, I guess. Um, but as always... Toy Reaper killing it uh, here. Do you want to say hi on the thing? Hey, and the Toy Reaper, there he is himself. Okay. <laughs> How you been, buddy? Good, excellent, awesome. We, we were just saying, I had a great conversation with you here before, as always. Uh, where are you heading the, in the near future, other shows you're going to? So I'll be at uh, AwesomeCon in Washington, D.C. next month. Uh, also, we'll be doing Baltimore Comic Con, uh, ZoloCon, uh, and PowerCon. Um, so yeah, so you're, you're hitting so, all the yeah, cons. I'm, I'm trying to hit all the cons. <laughs> <laughs> so again, okay, you see Toy Reaper, say hello, check out his booth, sir. Thank you, man. Thank and there is a table here, just jam packed with Star Wars stuff. I mean, older stuff, vintage stuff, but heck of a lot of uh, newer Black Series as well. This whole length of table is literally all Black Series stuff. Uh, so I probably won't go through everything, uh, but it's just basically anything relatively from the last five to ten years is more or less here. I did miss seeing these black and red boxes. I, I was never a big Black Series collector. You know, I, I have a few of the ones I like, characters I like. Um, but uh, again, even the Halloween one here. So again, just stack with Black Series. And some great play sets out here as well. As I mentioned earlier, they're actually utilizing all the hallways here in the uh, community center as well. So uh, a little bit of sunshine out here. There's Scott and Gene all smiley. Gotta love it. Uh, but yeah, He-Man stuff going on here. Motu. Five dollars each. These are little bins you like to find. It's random stuff. There's a night crawler with the suction cups. Like, just fun. I had the Cyclops. Here's a tab in the back, right? Yeah, it used to light up. Uh, but yeah, just everywhere you look, there's just stuff. There's just things everywhere. Batman, 
out here. We have some more bag stuff down here. And again, sorry if I'm going through things too quickly. I, I know sometimes I do do that. I apologize. It's just so much to get to. And plus, I don't want to be in people's way. <laughs> so as I show things off, I'm trying to film and then get out of people's way so they can also see what's here too. So yeah, just something here for everybody at the show. Always nice to see some old school books and VHS cassettes here as well. Again, just it's just again nostalgia on tap, right? Uh, VHS has really made a comeback in previous years as well. Oh, before I forget, shout out to JMC Collects. Cool meeting him here today as well. I saw him last show uh, doing great things over his channel with live streams and different guests. So hey, JMC, good seeing you today, man. Uh, but yeah, again, just tons of stuff here. You collect it, they're gonna have it. This is actually where you walk in in the front. This is where they do have a lot of different cosplayers uh, and things going on. So Lehigh Valley Power Rangers uh, are here, that cosplay group. We have an Electra and a Daredevil hanging out over here. Uh, so again, it's just fun to kind of wrap together all these different communities, whether it's cosplay, uh, cards, comics, games, I mean, gamers. You're just having all different sorts of hobbyists in one area is always awesome. So it's neat seeing uh, all these different uh, just individuals here. It's just always a fun time when you get uh, a collection of various collectors and communities all in one group in one place. So shout out to VR Hobbies doing a fantastic job getting all those people here. So today. I'm pretty sure I completely missed this booth on the way through. There's just so much to see here as I work my way around, uh, but all NECA turtles, everything you possibly think of. Uh, here, as you can see, priced is marked. Uh, we get the, all the different two packs. Uh, Napoleon is here, obviously. Anthrax scumbag. Uh, we have a lot of the stuff down here that came out from Target Thon. There's our Vernon Rat King. Um, just tons of stuff. All right, so first. Cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah I'll tied up my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Been stabbed in the back bed, I'll show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own So fight and fight and die For the things you know you things of these shows that are here that I don't really collect but I want to show off at least a little bit so you know what's here uh, if you are a, a matchbox hot wheels slot car collector always a, quite a few tables with those sorts of things here as well uh, looks like older matchboxes honestly I, I don't have much of a background with these I had you know some as a kid like a lot of people but again just sorts of uh, cars and things uh, antique trains so if that is your your jam that's what you like to collect doesn't hurt to come to the show as well because there's a whole section for that stuff as you can see here. So honestly, I can't remember if I filmed her earlier or not, but if I did, if I did, I missed all this. So uh, classic GI Joe vehicles, lots of pieces and parts. Uh, over here, I get a good mix of Marvel Legends and some other things as well. Uh, this is jumping out to me for 10 bucks. I, I had it, I bought it for the Billy piece and then I sold the figure off. Um, I said I wanted to reacquire it at a clearance price. 
ten dollars. I mean, if I get a clearance, it'll be like six, seven bucks. If I'm lucky at a Walmart, I might grab that for ten. Him, I'm not so much into the William Defoe looking saber tooth. Um, other Lucy's here. We get Dazzler for only five. Eighteen ounce Scorpion is actually a really good price. Uh, here we have the uh, Punisher War Machine going on. He actually might be in the movies moving up. Uh, supposedly, there's a, there's a possibility he might turn up in the Daredevil. I think like this. Uh, third of a born again but again just you got to look around and see what you can find at these shows because there's just so much stuff uh, i haven't shown a lot of transformers today there are a lot of transformers here as well here with some bags things you know different various prices on these i'm not a transformers guy as you're aware so uh but again you want it they pretty much probably have it here but i think for 10 i might pick up that maggot uh down here some build a figure pieces uh almost entire figures actually 15 uh for him uh is that zemnu i think um there's another piece down below there for him. Uh, so again, just a lot of bins that have just random pieces. Uh, you know, as a build figure pieces, you don't build the figure, they lay around. There's 20 bucks, uh, I guess it's 20, for Caliban's arm, I believe. So again, just cool stuff, and you never know what you're looking for. Uh, also, just a shout out is, uh, this is their information right here. This is their store. Check them out online. Uh, if you want to contact their store, uh, and you're gonna hear that you see you want, reach out to them. But I always like to show information for vendors if it's available. And again, just another kind of perspective shot here. You can kind of see how uh, spread out, how much room there is here, how many tables there actually are. So there's just weaving in and out through all these tables, uh, trying to find everything. Uh, the first time I ever came to the show, it was during the pandemic. And uh, they actually had like the six foot away, like dots on the ground, you know, where you had to maintain how far away you were. So it's nice to see we're at the point we can enjoy and be healthy together, but it's an amazing show. There's lots and lots of space and lots and of stuff. another booth with a good selection of uh, lunch cans or lunch pails. I know there are a lot of people who collect these. Uh, so I see some Batman down there. Winnie the Pooh is a cool one. Uh, Hulk, Marilyn Manson. <laughs> it's got a jump going from Marilyn Manson uh, from Winnie the Pooh. Uh, Indiana Jones is down there. Uh, the Pound of Puppies. There's an X-Men one. Uh, so again, if you do collect the lunch cans, tons of those here at the show as well for your collection. So this is a fun booth. We have all different uh, video game entertainment systems. GameCube, Nintendo 64, Xbox. We have controllers. We have the rare Super Slim PS3. Good old PS2. Still have mine at home. Love it. Motor's gone, but I'll never get rid of it. Different controllers. So if you're a gamer, I mentioned earlier, we just have sleeves and sleeves of different sorts of Game Boy games. Uh, things like that are here. But I love seeing all these old uh, retro gaming systems, even though I'm not as big a gamer as I was as a kid. It's just fun seeing them in one place. It's like a little museum here of uh, video games. So I was getting ready to leave and I realized there's a whole room I didn't even notice that typically isn't here. So uh, you gotta really keep your head on a swivel with these things. So here we go, Mythic Legions. There is the freaking moose. Gotta love the moose. Dante loves his moose. Headless Horseman for 200. Uh, very uh, good assortment here of Mythic Legions. If you collect Mythic Legions, you know that it is one hell of a rabbit hole. Uh, I dabble. I have some. <laughs> I have the Templar Knights. I have several different knights. I have some of the different animals. Uh, I am definitely not all in by any stretch, so I am definitely not uh, a uh, specialist when it comes to them, but I do know I appreciate them greatly to see them. But great collection here on display. Prices are good, uh, considering these are very valuable in the aftermarket. Um, so again, seeing the different two packs here is great. Uh, there's the Furious 4. I think that that was the exclusive from Legion's Con. I was there uh, on Saturday, so I didn't get that pack. I picked up the, 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 the name, the unknown one, I think his name was. Uh, but again, down this way, some G.I. Joe. There's our Serpentor at 120. We have the Cobra Commander, uh, Snake Supreme. But again, just a whole new room here of, of, of things that I didn't even know was over here. Glad I walked in because this is a great table. Uh, and like I said, there's just something here for everybody. Uh, whether, whatever you collect is probably here. So hopefully I've represented it. Also, shout out to Jesse. I think I forgot to mention him. I mentioned met him earlier. Good dude. Having a great conversation here with Death by Collectibles. Uh, they are uh, one of the Mythic Legion's distributors. So check them out here at their uh, information for Facebook and Instagram. Uh, they have all the new figures, Cosmic Legion's coming up as well. So got to love Mythic Legion's. Good stuff. Great community. Wow. People. I had a great time at this show. Uh, shout out to everybody who I did get to speak with today. Tad, I saw you on the way out, sir. Uh, Jesse. Uh, everybody else that I did get to talk to today. It's always good talking to fellow collectors. Uh, so on the way out, I was saying goodbye to Kevin, the VR Hobbies uh, showrunner who, who did put the show together. And he was talking to Tony Daniels, the freaking voice of Gambit from the X-Men, and Tony the Tiger. I was like, what? 
no way. So I just kind of accidentally bumped into that guy. Very cool guy to talk to, very talented voice actor. Uh, I just had a nice conversation with him on the way out, so that was really cool. Uh, but again, hopefully everybody got to see uh, a good idea of what they have at this show. This was a huge show. Uh, again, so much to offer uh, from cosplay to gaming to comic books to card collecting, collectibles, action figures, everything in between. Uh, just a great time. The staff was wonderful. Uh, always love coming to this show, so hopefully they continue to do these into the future. Uh, I tried to do as little music in the background as I needed. Most of this probably was narration. If I had to put music over the top, I apologize. I know people don't like that, uh, but I make it work as best I can. But with all that said, if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you. It doesn't cost you anything. Helps us grow the channel tremendously. Go ahead and hit that bell for notifications. The way YouTube actually notifies you and tells you when we post new content on the channel, like our weekly toy hunts, reviews, and live streams. Leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. And for daily toy content and daily toy updates, try checking us out over at Instagram and Twitter at disabout underscore 12. Hey, everybody. If you're going toy hunting this week, please try to remember the three P's of the, three P's of the toy hunt. Patience, persistence, most of all, politeness. Take care. Stay healthy. I'll be seeing all of you at the pegs.